everyone and welcome to another video. Today's haul is going to be a thrifting haul. I checked out a new store or a relatively new store to me. So this small this haul is actually pretty small. I picked up a few items that I just couldn't pass on, so I'm going to share those with you today. The thrift store that I went to for this haul is called Valley Thrift Store. Um, like I said, it's relatively new to me. I've been maybe a couple of times. Um, honestly, it's not my favorite store. I have gotten some good things there in the past. I think one other time that I went, um, I was able to find some really good things. Um, but this time it was just kind of really a, a, a bust, to be honest with you. Uh, I did find a few good items, and so those are what I'm going to share in the haul today. Um, some of the things I noticed, um, it was kind of bare bones, the shelves. Um, I went towards the end of December, early January, and so usually that's a really good time for the shelves to be restocked. Um, but I think one of the things that's kind of been a theme with a lot of places is that it's really uh, been hard to get people to um, actually work and like be able to stock the shelves and things and keep them stocked up. And so that's not a negative to the employees who worked at that store. It's just something that I noticed. Um, and they did have a help wanted sign. So <laughs> that's uh, saying that. Um, and another thing, you know, everyone's dealing with it. Um, the pricing, the pricing was just really high at this uh, particular store, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm obviously a penny printer, um, and so uh, I, I did try to look up um, sort of comparable pricing on items that I did find and try to make my decisions that way. Um, I think in one of my videos I had mentioned from earlier this year, I'm really trying to be very mindful about my shopping and making the most of the money that I spend. And so um, a lot of the things that I went lurking, looking for um, at the thrift store were uh, organization and storage items. I'm really trying to get more organized, uh, my home anyway, <laughs> and staging it um, so that hopefully I can put it up for sale soon and then look for a new house. Um, but that's a longer story, so I'm not going to get into that. But I, like I said, I was being really mindful of what I was shopping for. Um, I ended up actually getting <laughs> some things for myself and sort of uh, looking for the future. Um, I have some future events coming up, and I thought uh, some of these things would be good. And I'm going to be honest with you, the very first item that I found, I just liked it and wanted to get it. It is a book called The Time Traveler's Wife. Um, I think there's a new series, a relatively new series of this on uh, HBO Max, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's right. Um, it's a motion picture. I have not seen the movie, so I have zero <laughs> knowledge other than, you know, the clips and things that I've seen in the past. Um, but I thought this, this book, like, it looked in really good condition. I mean, little to no wear at all. And it only cost 49 cents. I don't know if you can see the back there. So I thought for a book anymore, 49 cents, that's a pretty good deal. I say that's a really good deal. Did I need that book? No. Are the books on my shelf that are on my to-be-read list taunting me, saying, hey, what about me? Yes, they are. But I did. I do want to read that book because I eventually want to watch that series. And so I thought I might as well get it. So there's my side tangent on that. I'm moving on to the next item. The next item is again something for me. Um, I found a new pair of sandals. Summertime, I love sandals. I went so many years in my career working in labs and in hospitals not being able to wear sandals to work that now I find myself wearing them at work and at home and out and out in the summer or springtime when it's really nice and I have a pedicure. Gotta have a nice pedicure, right? Um, but I picked these up, these are Steve Madden. They're just um, some little leather sandals. Pardon my other computers in the background. Um, and I really liked these. I looked up comp like comparable prices on these. I couldn't find the exact match. Um, ma mainly the difference was um, that I noted are that these are kind of like a wrap around, cross around the ankle kind of strap. Um, as I was saying, comparable prices on this were anywhere from $25 to like $55. 
depending on you know where you got them if you got them second hand um, they look like they're in pretty good condition the soles have a little bit of wear but not too bad um, they're a little dirty not gonna lie need to clean them um, but I thought for me and what I was gonna wear them with um, not a big deal I like these because they do have a good sort of solid sole but they're not like a huge heel or anything so I think these would be really nice you can dress them up dress them down like I said, I have a lot of traveling and events and things this spring and summer, and so I definitely wanted just a good basic pair of sandals, and I really like these leather ones. I ended up paying $2.99 for these. I don't know if there were any like promotions or special things going on when I shopped. Um, I didn't see any on my receipt, and so um, let's just say that I, I paid $2.99 for these, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Last but certainly not least is another pair of shoes. These I actually purchased for my mom and these were the most expensive thing that I bought the entire thrift haul. Um, they're a pair of Cole Haan pumps. I don't remember exactly the name on these, but I did look up comparable prices. Um, Cole Haan, I think is just a really good shoe. I've gotten these in the past for my mom and she's really liked them. And I tend to find a lot more in her size. Um, they did have a beautiful, pointed toe pair of like flat very cute Kohan um, and they were just a slightly too small for me and so I ended up passing them they were a super good deal though but I ended up passing but these I got for my mom like I said I thought they were really nice very sort of classic and yet sort of on trend now with like the blocky heel um, I really like the two tone color it's gonna be kind of hard to see I think I have warm lighting on tonight um, but it's almost like a nude sort of buff color and then you have the black sort of patent leather toe and these i'm kidding you not they look like they've never been worn they're like perfect condition and i really just thought my mom would love these i think they would be really good for her for wear she doesn't wear like a huge heel so she really likes kind of this blocky heel kind of gives her a lot of stability um and she could wear these to church. That's, that's probably where she'll mainly wear them. Um, or, you know, other events like weddings or, you know, who knows, Kentucky Derby. We'll see. Um, but I thought she would really like those. As I did say, um, I did look up comparables on these. Um, comparables on these were a little <laughs> all over the place. I think the cheapest pair I saw was like $25 on maybe Poshmark. And then the most expensive pair were like $120. Um, so again, <laughs> sort of a, a range there. Um, but I actually ended up paying $12.99 for them. Hopefully you can see that. Um, even paying $12.99 for them, even if they weren't like a Cole Haan, I think that's a pretty good deal, uh, given that they're a good quality shoe. Um, and that, like I said, they, they look like they're a good quality shoe. They feel like a good quality shoe. Cole Haan, as I said, seems to be a really good brand. It seems to be a, a good brand that my mom actually liked. So I hope that she likes these. I did send her a picture of them already. So she did say that she loved them, but of course you'll have to try them on. Um, but yeah, I think I, I got a good deal. $12.99. I don't know. You all tell me, did I get a good deal or not? All right, that is it for today's haul. As I said, it wasn't very much. Um, maybe next time I'll have better luck at the value, Valley Thrift Store. I don't want, I want to call it Value Village or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm used to Savers. I think Value Village is in Savers or something. So, sorry, it's Valley Thrift Store <laughs> is where this haul is from today. Um, like I said, it was a small one, but hopefully I got some good deals. Please let me know. Let me know your favorite item. Did, have you read that book? Did you like it? You can tell me about it. Please don't spoil it. <laughs> like I said, I want to read it and then I want to watch that series. Um, but I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you think. Um, I should have a lot more thrift hauls coming soon, as well as some Dollar Tree hauls. So I hope you will join me for those. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.